Hey, what's up? It's Adam Dillon, portrait and lifestyle photographer based in San Francisco. Uh, this video is for all you people who haven't got a haircut in the last month because of the quarantine. Uh, there's nothing else going on. The last video that I made four years ago was what was in my camera bag when I lived in LA. And now working in more advertising and doing portraiture, I thought it'd be cool to show you the bag that I have now and work through everything that I have. <laughs> this is the Think Tank Airport Roller uh, 2.0. I've had this for a couple years. I've done a lot of traveling lately and I used to have a backpack that I would take everything in, but it just didn't fit everything that I needed, especially for advertising and portraiture. This is what I came up with. It rolls, it fits in the overhead compartments. It's really great. I haven't had a problem getting this through security ever. Uh, I've just been telling people that uh, it's cameras. So shocking, the first thing and the most important thing that you need as a photographer, tape. Gaff tape, you can use it for anything. If something breaks, you have a strap break. Uh, I use these lacy cables and they always come out of the camera while you're shooting. It's super easy and or like you forget your lock that goes on that. Tape it on, you get a cut. Next, A-clamps. can never have enough A-clamps. All right, so I've, and a lot of people uh, are gonna be upset by this, uh, I still shoot on the Canon 5D Mark III as my main body. Uh, I've shot with the Mark IV a couple times. I've messed around with the Sony a7 III. I shot that for a campaign. This has just always been my go-to. I've been Canon since day one. This camera, I just take really good care of my cameras. This camera's a workhorse. I got the battery grip on it, just especially when we're doing portrait sessions. I think it's really important to have this. It just makes it a lot easier for me and it's personal preference. And that's the big reason why I really like this bag is it can fit the body that has the grip in it. Uh, also for tethering when we're shooting portraiture, uh, tethering to a laptop or tethering on location, it's important. I should have two of these in my bag because these do break really easily. Let's say someone steps on it, it comes out of the camera, or it comes out of the laptop, these can get bent really easily. So it's good to have a couple of these on hand. Uh, I have the Peak Design strap. I had a leather strap on this camera for a long time, um, but after so many people have it, it's really nice, because once you have a strap that you have to take on and off, on and off, it really is a pain. So having this, shooting with it on location, having the strap on, and then hey, we need to go to portraits really quickly, it's so much easier to just take that strap off. Batteries, you can never have enough batteries, especially with the battery grip. The camera lasts pretty long, it'll last pretty much an entire day having two batteries in there. Something that I've been carrying recently that I've had a lot of fun with is a Polaroid. Uh, one step, this is actually my grandfather's, uh, and it still works because as we know, the Polaroid film has the battery in it, so it doesn't really, like this isn't gonna break down over time if it's taken well care of, so. Oh, there is film in here. There you go. Uh, cards, CF cards, SD cards, especially shooting on the GH5 now. Always make sure which ones are formatted, which ones are not formatted. I flip the ones that still have images that still need to be formatted just so I know. Um, just a quick, easy way of doing it for myself. Uh, so the lenses that I have, my go-to, these are probably pretty much the only lenses that I use for the Canon. Uh, the lens that I use the most, uh, I was really into primes for a long time, but the 24 to 70. I pretty much use this 99% of the time. It's just quick, it's easy, call me lazy, but this literally does everything that I need it to do. The other one that I use, I haven't used it as much, so this is the 51.2. Uh, I've had this for a couple years now as well. This is really good for portraiture, uh, and it's also good for really walk around. I really do think that when you start out, you should pick up a prime, preferably a 35 or a 50, and just shoot with that for a couple months and really get used to shooting on a prime, moving with your body. The lens that I actually have been pairing with the 24 to 70 is the 85.14. I used to have the 1.2, and as we know, if you are a Canon user, the 1.2 was just insanely slow at focusing. Um, but I've been using this when shooting fashion, or actually I've been shooting a lot of sports lately, kind of like a sports lifestyle take. Uh, this is really great for kind of like a fly on the wall perspective. Other thing too, again, a think tank little pack, uh, something, this is for when I'm shooting portraits mostly. Color card, that's really good, especially if you're shooting in studio, just to get like a really good neutral balance on it. I think everyone should have one of these. They are a little expensive, but if you take care of it, this will last a really, really long time. And also the tether block. So I can mount this to the bottom of the camera so that the cable is not coming out when I'm shooting. Lastly, the camera that I've been using is the Fuji X-Pro3. I'm stoked on this. I had the X-Pro1 and I did an entire Japan project with the X-Pro1. I like the street style of it. My friend actually made this strap. 
But the great thing about this camera is not having the screen on the back is it just keeps you, I've been a lot more into street photography lately just as a, a hobby and just keeping myself fresh even though I shoot portraiture and advertising. Having a really good just all around carry camera for your life is really important. Okay, so then in the top half, these are just the little essential things that I think are important. Uh, I think you should have a microfiber cloth for lenses, uh, even the viewfinder, things like that, or even like a little brush or the air blower. Definitely not to wipe off the inside of your camera. That's horrible. You always have to have business cards. I think it's just important, especially if you're on set or somebody asks, hey, what's your email? Or hey, can you send these to me? Um, it's always good to have business cards. And something that's equally important if you're having a long day and it's hot or something like that, have some drugs. Have Advil, have something, because if you're shooting and you're being creative, I guarantee there's a good chance you're probably gonna get a headache. Extra batteries is super important, especially for pocket wizards, take double A's, pink tape, iPhone charger, and then also a sync cable, just in case you're shooting studio and your pocket wizards die or something happens. Having a sync cable we could plug into the strobes is very important, just having that as a backup as well. All right, so that's really everything that I have. This is my main camera bag for when I'm out and I'm traveling, doing advertising work. Uh, or portraiture, it's just so easy to roll this around. Uh, I do have other bags, but we'll get into that for the film episode, what's in my film photography bag. But this is my main bag, this is my go-to wherever I go. My GH5, which all of these videos are recorded on, so. All right, well this is the, this is the first video of the new channel, and I'm really excited about this. Make sure to like and subscribe, follow along, follow me on Instagram.